think. Okay, hello everybody, sorry I'm late and I know we're going to wind up soon, but uh, I want to thank Lisa Palmer and the Mental Health Warriors for all the good work they do around this area and just to say how outrageous it is that yet again, like last summer when they closed half the beds, they're now closing the day unit. It just goes to show how little regard they have for our communities and for the people who are the most vulnerable and suffer the worst because of their policies and their cuts, the lack of housing, the lack of funding in schools, the low pay, the crap jobs, the sort of lives that people are forced to live. And that means we've got to start by really fighting locally as well as nationally to fundamentally change the kind of world that puts the lives of people right back to the end of the agenda. Everything else comes first. Private medicine gets preference over public medicine. If you had the money, you'd be looked after. When you don't have the money, you can go to hell. And that's what this is all about. It's private and public are being put into competition with each other. And as long as they favor private medicine over public health care, then people are going to suffer. And in this particular situation, they will literally die. They will die and suffer terrible degradation of mental health and conditions. And we've seen it in this community most tragically, and I don't think uh, that this helps at all. I'm not going to say that we've seen the end of it, because obviously we all live in the hope and in the sustenance by sticking with each other that we have seen the end of the terrible tragedies that we've witnessed continually in these communities. But no doubt these policies have led to those tragedies. And I think that for us to say here today, and there's a great turnout, that we will not accept it and that we have to fight back in every community and nationally. It's coming back up to the closure of the Dáil and they always do this in the summer. They always bring on the worst measures when the government are not there to be accountable and answerable to the people. Well, it's not good enough for Cherry Orchard, it's not good enough for our communities and it's not good enough nationally. Just thanks again to Lisa and all of you for coming out and we have to keep up the pressure our health is not their wealth and we may have to make sure that whatever spending is required that it is the funding is put in and that they start treating workers with dignity psychiatric nurses and all medical staff once they're trained in this country they don't belong before they leave it again because they're not paid properly they're not treated properly they're put in overstressed and over under-resourced conditions and that's why they don't stay in Ireland to fulfill the sort of medical care that we need. So that has to change. The unions have to step up to the plate and join this fight back. Uh, thanks again.